We've seen people play Galakron Warrior. We've seen people play Galakron Shaman. But have you seen people play Galakron Rogue? You probably have. But let's see how good it is. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Ha! <laughs> this guy's toast. Please let me start with coin. Please let me start with coin. I don't like Elise Star Seeker's portrait because she kind of looks like a priest. Doesn't she? Like, it's priest like, you know? So it's Resurrect Priest. How do we deal with this? Seems like a pain in the ass. Seems like a pain in the ass if you ask me. There's not gonna be anyone to backstab. We want Necrom Apothecary, right? Oh, wait, it's a druid. I literally called out what he was and why I'm confused by it, and I still <laughs> thought it was a priest. Love the feel of wind in me at least, okay, this is. I hate the fact that it looks so much like a priest. Like, you guys think I'm crazy, but it like, you gotta admit, it looks really similar to a priest. Justice is mine. I'm wondering if I should have coined Miscreant instead. My remedies are all natural. I was about to coin the apothecary. It's so hard for the apothecary to die. It'll draw me the Nubasath. I think it might be a little too slow. To no good. Yeah, pretty sure it's just a little too double slow. And double pay. Like she's dressed in all white, which is traditionally associated with priest. Hey, I got you, friend. I would have really liked it if you drew a power instead. Take damage so you can restore health. I think that would have been a much better play. Put a uh, lackey play just because it's a token druid and playing apothecary is the slowest thing in the world. Behold, hey, jewels of the sun. Shouldn't you have mana left so you can draw a card? All he has is a bunch of trees, right? I don't want to kill. I can't kill both of them. Can I? <sighs> I can kill. Can I kill any of them? Is it more important to kill the Life Weaver? How much health is he gonna be able to restore hmm. at this point? Evil is fun! some shit to your units. He has two trees in his hand and then two druid cards, right? Two cards from his deck. Should have Galakron will give me a lackey and a decently mm. sized minion. He can draw a card this turn with Crystal Merchant. But it's okay because he can only use it next turn. It also means he has to float mana. Which is not good for him. <laughs> I will act as your skin. To war. I go by. Justice is mine. I'm worried about uh, stuff like Savage War. 
Okay, now he has four cards he put in his deck. Would double Savage War kill us here? Ooh, five plus six, six, five plus four, ten, twenty-one. Okay, it's like steel token. I'm not impressed. Shall we hunt? Seal fate, nah. Or just Galakron again. I will act as your skin. I find a decent lackey. Ooh, the two damage one. Never surrender. I will lie. Wait for me. Okay, he could play uh soul of the tree people, right? What's the card? The one that summons five two twos. My remedies are all natural. Yeah, good thing we killed one of them. He would have been able to draw two random druid spells. Oh, oh my god, this heal druid is actually getting so much value. Praise God Krond. Behold, jewels of the sun. Devoted maniac. Do we have lethal? Nine, ten, fourteen. I need four damage. Can I get four damage anywhere? No, I cannot. So, yeah. He actually got decent value from his heal combo, but remember, Life Weaver gives you random druid cards, and random druid cards are like, meh. Oh god, this guy has the advanced hunter skin. He's a super hunter. None can escape my fury. Backstab's okay. Backstab is good for the face stalker. The thing that won him that game was that freaking face stalker top deck. That was so good. Okay, we got the Necturm Dream here again. The fire's a vengeance. Oh, thank God I have backstab. Hunter's the number one counter to Rogue, but I do have the Vicious Scale High combo to try and like get a cheeky win here. I can hero power or I can double sky pirate. I think it's better to double sky pirate. Is it? He's incentivized to hero power next turn, right? The sky pirate might give me the damage I need to win the game. Justice is mine. He's gonna hero power. He's incentivized to hero power, right? That dude's annoying. Wait, the poison that actually works in our favor? Because it makes Necrom Apothecary. Like really easy to kill. But this is so good for us now. Unless he wants to kill his own primordial explorer. The other thing he can do is like play a freezing trap to try and freeze this guy, and then he trades this off. Oh, what a cheeky little play! And this is the. This is this is where the fun begins. Justice is mine. Wait for me! Wait for me! Oh, look at this fat. Ah, that's really good. That's nine damage off my back from that. Another neck from Apothecary, dare I? Dare I play another one? 
Or should I just, you know, kill him? I could kill him. I feel like killing is never the bad, the wrong play here. I'm up to no good. Me too. Titanic, the introduction of Titanic Lackey is so nice for Rogue because it gives you defensive options like healing a unit and taunting it. Bye bye, Hunter. Another Hunter. Another one. Another one. Enough with the Hunters, people. Hmm. I have a lot of. I can have up to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven one cost oh. unit. <laughs> Which is a lot of one cost unit. If you place Leper on no on, on one, my Blood Cell Freebooter can at least contest it. I'm just worried about Face Darker on two. That one is the, the kick in the nuts, as they say. The ball breaker. Yeah, Leper no on one would be severely annoying. Mainly because I'm worried about face doctor on two. Now. I'm gonna do this just to counter his face doctor on two option. I hate using coin to do this, but I think it's necessary. 100%. Grab the loot. Free fallen. You really explosive trap. For one unit? Are you insane? Mechanic Lackey, not bad. Ah, oh, Leoc. Oh, that's a good pickup. That's a real good pickup. It allows my SSG. I'm not getting a lot of value from my cards, but it's fine because I'm against Aggro Hunter. Value is more of a luxury. Lapdogs, all of you. <sighs> That's so bad. When did people start playing freezing traps? Shit. Oh no, this is really bad. Maybe I should just taunt it up. Still has secrets. That's actually insane. The taunt's gonna help. And so is the rush. You have to bust through this with like a kill command, right? To my side. Oh, yeah, that's a bad one. Can you kind of like stop? <laughs> His will be done. I really don't want to take damage if I can avoid it. Quickly. Justice is mine. I think it's necessary. What's he gonna do with these units, right? It's not like he can buff them up, right? Justice is mine. Uh, of one health. We'll see. If I become Kronk, I think I'm in the spot. Like, I become Galakron and then play Kronk. Because I get a lot of healing off that. Dark in the skies, my nightmare reigns. We want to clear the board while minimizing the amount of units we have on the board. <laughs> That's a misdirection slash explosive trap. Green makes red means you dead. Poetic. Yeah, 
just gonna keep smoking me. That's fine. We're inspired to kind of play. Succulent. You are too late. This return is nigh. His will be done. I need to attack this turn because if I just wait any longer, I'm going to eventually die. The vicious skill hide. Oh, I can play another taunter, like take half. I could probably do this. In case he wants to do unleash shenanigans. And I believe this puts lethal on board too. 10, 16, yeah. This puts lethal on board, which is really important. Rogue Beating Hunter, what year is this? Mayev versus Tranda. Starting with coin. Wow, I feel like I've started with coin pretty much every game. It's crazy. This allows me to invoke Galakrond a bunch, but I think we're look just looking for a Necrom Apothecary. Which is fine. This has feels fine. This doesn't seem good though. Alright, it's a priest, probably resurrect priest. How do we outlast in terms of value against the resurrect priest? Big units. But he's gonna have two plagues, right? Coin is out early. Play the quest. Happy Ooh. feast of winter veil. Green mix red mean no dead. Green mix red means no dead or you dead? No dead. Uh I think maybe the way I kill him is with the Leroy Jenkins that's been buffed up Omega Lee. I'm not incentivized to hit him. There's master spells. I gotta watch out for them dispels. This spell, that spell. Oh, this seems okay. I can also seal fate. Which gives me two mana to work with. Think. That's a hand buff. Maybe I should have waited for Leroy Jenkins. I don't know. Don't know. Uh, how much res units is gonna have? I think I need to pressure him. Thing. I think that's the play here. The end begins. <laughs> Fellow humans. <laughs> I like Shadow Step on my um, High Spare and Tog Waggle though. Return all friendly minions to your hand is really good for. Yeah, but I think I'll have my hands full. Like, I can use this on a Kronks as well, right? Quickly! I have a uh, decent stats on the board. He's gonna have a crap ton of reses. So if we just cannot outlast him is the question. I won't beat him in fatigue for sure. 
Because my deck draws a crap ton, and uh, Death, Ra Death Rattle Priest actually doesn't draw that much. What is actually, Death Rattle Priest doesn't draw at all, so... I think the go is to just keep forcing him to use cards over and over again. I don't want to shadow step the high spare in here. Do I? Uh, I can shadow step Kronk. From nothing. Choose a minion. Shuffle three shadows into your deck that summons a copy when drawn. Like who? What's a good target for this? A new Wasath Warbringer, I guess, would be really good. Quickly. Hmm. I wonders one. They like one. I'm not sure if hitting him is the right play though. You could easily heal up with the water hoofer. Oh, see, that's such a risk to go for that play. And he got punished. But maybe he didn't have a choice. I think we go for a big Edwin, right? We want to make it so he doesn't have a good turn to play Xerix. Think. My hands way. I have way too much stuff in my hands right now. Play two cards. I should have played the Titanic. <sighs> Next time I can play Anubisath. I can just keep buffing and buffing, but I really want to buff my Leroy Jenkins. That's fine. Happy Feast of Wintervale. He could play Zarek's Cloning Gallery now, but not much we can do about it. I didn't commit too much. I had two big minions, which is about the average value he's going to get from his Plague of Death. This is Zarek. Who do we want to kill here? The Katrina, the Vargoth, I don't care too much about. Hmm. You can destroy all copies of this too. Uh, my he's gonna get his. Yeah, I feel like he's gonna get his eye control anyway. Maybe hitting him in the face is the wrong play. I think against Quest Priest, there is a world where you just never hit him in the face, right? But then you're not pressuring him. But he does have so much ways to heal. I'm not exactly sure if what I'm doing is correct. He's drawn more cards than me somehow. If I play Kronk, so I can I get Galakron, right? He has played one convincing infiltrator. He has two of his resers left. One of which is a Vargoth. He also has stuff like Psycho Pomp in his res pool. Oh, this animation is going to waste a lot of time. Unity, precision, perfection. Really accurate. Yeah, Praise Galakrond! Praise him! Oh, Faceless Corruptor has synergy with the Nubasath as well. I never realized that. Such power. 
Okay, why doesn't this cost zero? Wait a second. You were supposed to cost zero, little buddy. Let's save units in hand, right? We do want to kill this, though. Toxmonger. That's not bad. If he has another Plague of Undeath, it's like, god damn, that's annoying. Ah, second Plague of Undeath. Well, he's out of Plagues of Undeath. From nothing. Power. Shiv, to draw me a card. A card like anything that's useful. Or destroy a minion. I'd rather just fight for board right now. Like, Pressure. Cobla is kind of scary too, but I, I need some draws. Juicy. From nothing. Power. Trigger a friendly minion's death rattle twice. Dude, I need to get my Leroy, man. <laughs> I need to make the biggest juicer in the world. Swiftly. I think I've actually just dropped my Galakon now. i overdraw it. This forces him to um, board clear again. And as long as I force him on the back foot, I have a much easier time uh, setting up my own board. Because I have to remove his stuff and set up my own board. That's really hard to do. Yeah, I might just play Gal um, Kronk to get the Galakron and draw myself uh, three cards that all cost zero. Use both his hard removal. Plague of Undeath. But he still will have mass hysteria. All right, who's thirsty? Looks like you're healing yourself. Wow. How much damage is it? Twelve. If I can draw Leroy. Wait for me. Dark in the skies. Don't draw backstabs, please. One backstab, two backstab. I have too many cards. Okay. We got the Assimilate or die. Uh, I do two backstabs. That was very nice. I will act as your scape. Darkness wings. At what point do I backstab my own unit? If I ever backstab my own unit. Seems fancy. Okay. He could go for mass resurrect, right? But he has one dead water bearer. If he mass hysterias, he actually will clear the board. Actually he might not clear the board. I like that. But you're assuming I don't have one single point of damage. I could kill him, but I want to make my Super Leroy. <laughs> I want, su Super Leroy chat. I'm sorry. Super Leroy. I'm free, and so is my curse. Super Leroy must be made. That's not a win unless it's with Super Leroy. I'm not gonna regret this, am I? I have two shadows and one Leroy here. If I double draw shadow and then draw Leroy, I can trigger all that death rattle. He'll play mass hysteria to clear the board, right? Alright, there's the Leroy. So I play Necrom Vile here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. 
Yes. Yes. Oh yeah. It's all coming together. Hang on. Uh, I got some business, but I'll just play a one mana ten ten for now. Sorry about that shit. Um, I'm trying to. If you don't know, I'm still trying to make this Super Leroy extra big. Okay, this is a 15. And I have one more shadow unit, right? Uh, you know what? This Leroy is big enough. Kill him. <laughs> GG. Oh, that was fun. That was, that was a thick Leroy. Hey, lights out.